today I thought I'd make this long-awaited video of how I told my parents I was four months pregnant. I know, four months is a long time to wait, but I was scared. <laughs> And why this video has not been filmed yet is because I was going to do it with my boyfriend but then he decided well I might as well just tell my story because honestly his parents took it pretty well. But yes I apologize for this video taking so long to be recorded and uploaded but now it's getting done and so you guys can finally hear that. Basically I'm going to be starting this story off from where I left off in my last story time video which was finding out that I was pregnant and so if you want to see that video I made it with my boyfriend and it's the first video on our channel so I'll link it somewhere up here for you to get quick access to and possibly leave it in the description but you're more likely to find it up here. That's why I'm going to be telling you how I told my parents by myself today for this video and yeah we'll see Danny in future videos. <laughs> okay so like I said, watch that previous video that I made and then come back to this one or watch this one and then watch that one, but you might be a little bit more confused for this video. Basically, that's where I'm going to start with right after where that video ended of finding out that I was pregnant at 17. So after finding out that I was about four weeks pregnant, I did not tell any wrong anyone, honestly. I kept it a secret and I just didn't feel comfortable telling people besides Danny of course he was there and so we kind of just kept it to ourselves and that worked out better at the time with the nervousness and figuring out what we wanted to do and all that we knew for sure that we wanted to keep the baby like that wasn't a question at all it's just we wanted to kind of figure out our plans like okay, well, when do we want to do college, and when are we graduating, and so on and so forth. Graduating wasn't really a problem because I was getting credits. I was getting a lot of um, extra credits building up early so that when it came time to my senior year, I'd have less classes and I could graduate early if I wanted to. Which now, in a week, I'm going to be a graduate from my high school a semester early so I'm really excited to finally finish off senior year and be able to be home with our daughter when she's born. <laughs> Although we agreed that we didn't want to tell anybody yet, it was for a couple reasons. One, because we wanted to make sure the baby stayed, like I did not have a miscarriage or any type of false alarm. And two, because we were extremely nervous and we wanted to make sure we had our plan, like I said, before going and telling people. But I quickly realized that it was going to be really hard to cover that up. One, I had a lot of symptoms and they would just give it away automatically. My first trimester was honestly the worst. I lost a ton of weight and it was just bad because I had anxiety from not being able to tell anyone like I was able to tell obviously but I was scared to so the biggest problems I was having was that I was vomiting a lot and my belly was crying obviously so the vomiting was the hardest thing for me to cover up because I'm living in a house with both of my parents and there's no upstairs downstairs there's one bathroom it's near their room and my room's near their room so let me tell you it was extremely hard trying to keep that hidden and I'm surprised I was able to keep it a secret for that long honestly very quickly into the first trimester I began throwing up like maybe at like six weeks or so at this point it's the summertime and so I could get out the house a little bit but it was more on the strict side of me going places. Um, most of the time I could only go places with Danny because I didn't have a ton of friends at this point in my life and that that's not even a story I want to get into right now. <laughs> but um, basically Danny was the main person that I felt safe going places with and therefore 
I couldn't just go places on my own and I wasn't gonna go places on my own anyways. I had a lot of nausea and vomiting constantly. I was barely keeping down any of my food and that was like the first sign that'd be kind of obvious if it was being paid attention to and of course it was gonna be paid attention to. So I quickly realized I could not eat a lot of the things that I liked eating before I was pregnant. I had to stick with very easy stuff like noodles and soup and crackers and water like a lot of drinks weren't staying down like milk any dairy products could not do it and I actually could not have dairy products all the way until around my third trimester starting because it would upset my stomach and it was just bad found that out fast it was just really ridiculous I was throwing up everything I'd be lucky if I was keeping down my soup or noodles like it was a terrible thing however I did read that at the very, very beginning, the baby is still so tiny, they're not really getting an overload of nutrients from you and more from the prenatal vitamins. So I was like, okay, the next time we go to the store with your mom, we will sneak off and buy prenatal vitamins. So that's what we did. We went to the store and bought these gummy prenatals because I feared having to swallow a big pill just because I was throwing up so much. And so I figured maybe a gummy vitamin would make it easier for me to just keep it down. Because otherwise I'm good at taking pills with no problem. So I had my prenatals, I was taking those daily. I had apps on my phone to tell me like the growth of the baby and just tips and stuff. But the vomiting was very bad and terrible. I, it was hard to cover up. It was just so, so much, like honestly. It was a very hard time in my life because that's just like the hardest thing to keep hidden, especially when you just constantly feel like you're sick. There I was, pregnant, no job, throwing up a lot, and at one point I woke up in the morning and I felt really sick and I could not hold it in, so I rushed to the bathroom and obviously I couldn't hide it, I threw up. And before that, I was just constantly kind of bringing up when I throw up. I would say that, oh, I'm getting sick. So for a week that helped me be able to without hiding it. But afterwards, which is the time I'm talking about now, I threw up, I couldn't hide it, and nobody was home for my mom. And she heard me. It was very scary. <laughs> because um, I thought she was gonna find out right then and I was just scared to say it. It wasn't because I thought that I was gonna have to get an abortion or anything because I didn't think any of those things. I just thought how scary it would be and I didn't want to lose that close relationship I had with my mom. She heard me and then the question came up, did you and your boyfriend do anything? Of course I said no while I'm still throwing up at the toilet. At first I didn't say anything, I just kept throwing up and then she said, Malia and so I said no and she was like oh good because um, buying diapers and stuff is a lot of money like kind of just joking it off but I knew she had suspicion and especially at that point <laughs> and so we hung out that day went to eat food and I tried not to throw it up the day before that I went to the movies with my boyfriend and his brother and so I just blamed it on the talkies which is a hot chip if you don't know what that is and obviously it wasn't that so kind of think I was being tested just a little bit that day for the most part I was able to eat and keep it down I didn't finish my hot dog I ate a lot of fries and I could barely drink my smoothie from McDonald's. I got through that day and it was fun. Don't get me wrong, it was fun. It was just, I was still trying to cover up that I was sick, like nauseous. Clearly, once I started kind of getting used to the whole throwing up routine, I know that sounds bad, but I was getting used to hiding that, then I had to deal with my belly growing. All my clothes were very tight on me because I'm pretty, I was pretty skinny. So, and on top of that, I was losing weight. So, a lot of my clothes are small. It's hard to cover your belly growing if you didn't really have a belly to begin with. So, it's starting to come out of my shirt and show, and I'm getting nervous because it's like if anybody sees the bump, clearly you can guess that I'm pregnant. That was difficult to cover up. 
but I would kind of like wear my jackets, try to wear like loose dresses, just like stuff like that to kind of keep that concealed. And at the time I was able to wear a belt and it would kind of cover it up too. Definitely can't even fit pants anymore, but continuing on. It was hurting me and like eating me alive that I didn't tell my parents yet. And I felt bad for our baby because Obviously, I knew I needed prenatal care and I wasn't getting it and months were going by. So eventually, a good four months went by and summer was over, school started, and my belly was getting bigger. It was at a noticeable point now, but it wasn't too noticeable yet. But I knew it was getting really close to being noticeable. And I was just so tired of hiding it. Like, hiding it from everyone was giving me anxiety. It was making me sad, it was very tiring, and it just was not healthy. It wasn't healthy for me, and it wasn't healthy for the baby, and it wasn't healthy for anybody else around me to not know, especially my parents. So that's when telling came in. Like I said, the only reason why I was really nervous to tell my parents is because I didn't want to disappoint them, and I was starting to get a better relationship with them. Not that our relationship was terrible, but I was just getting closer, especially to my mom, and I didn't want to ruin that relationship by bringing up a child, their biggest fear of me having right now. But I was tired of holding it in, I was tired of not saying it. We weren't really fully prepared yet, and we were selling stuff online that we didn't need anymore, like clothes, games all that and all that money we used to start getting stuff for the baby but obviously it wasn't just enough like it was some clothes bottles toys etc but we obviously we needed more i finally brought up one day while we were sitting down watching tv danny and i and i was like i feel like we should tell them i'm tired of holding it in i feel bad for our baby i want to make sure they're okay because at this point i was starting to get some pains in my left ovary and everything, I was just, I was so scared and I didn't want anything to happen to the baby. I just wanted to finally get it out because I was so tired of like all the drama and anxiety and all that that came with not telling anyone. So I said I was ready to say it and Daniel was very supportive, like he's always supportive and he was scared too but he said do whatever you want to do. Like. I totally support you if that's what you want to do, saying it tonight. So that's why I said, I was like, okay, I'll say it as soon as you go home today. I will bring it up, I'll say it, and that's what's gonna happen. So we had an extra test. I peed on it, obviously I was gonna say positive. And I put that in a plastic bag just in case I could not verbally say it myself. I could show it to her to bring it up. That's what I did, peed on the stick, came out positive, put the cap back on it put it in one of those plastic sandwich ziploc bags so it was clear and easy to see without her actually having to touch the stick because ew and I brought it up that night I was so scared I put it in the pocket of my robe I went into the garage where she was at and I showed her the test she said what is that just out of shock and I said I'm pregnant my mom took it pretty well, honestly. It was very shocking to her, but the main thing she was worried about was telling my dad because my dad was definitely going to be mad. <laughs> what dad wouldn't be mad? We talked about it, I told her I still wanna go to college and all that. She was scared for us, but she told me, you know, there's nothing you can do about it now. What's done is done. Can't go back in the past and change it. And we just gotta deal with it now. And I really appreciated that she wasn't mad or angry or yelling because that would have made it 10 times worse. I was keeping my boyfriend updated on what was happening. She's like, but you do realize we have to tell your dad and your brother. And I was like, yep. <laughs> yeah. And obviously I started crying after saying I'm pregnant because I didn't have to say it to anyone before. So just bringing it up was like a relief to me and just a very emotional moment. And she asked how far along do I think I am? And I don't remember exactly how long I said. I think I said around four months possibly. We weren't really sure. So after that all sunk in, we called my brother. He was okay with it. I mean, obviously it was kind of disappointing to everyone, but I guess they weren't that super surprised because 
they knew I was sexually active. I was on birth control, Depo Provera shot, if you've never heard of it, and it completely messed me up. I had a period all the time. It made me feel sick. It just wasn't a good situation, so I got off of it and you know, you see what happened. After telling my brother, you know, we joked just a little bit. My mom called him and was mainly talking to him, but I would say things from time to time. So after that, it was telling the family, so she texted my family. We just got it all done right there because clearly everyone was going to start finding out. She told me she was going to try to get me onto some prenatal care as soon as possible, and she texted my dad because he wasn't home at the time. He didn't reply. Come to find out, he left in the morning. That night he came home, he didn't say anything about it. Uh, he left in the morning with his brother, my uncle, and they went to like a car show, and during that ride there, my uncle brought it up, and that's when my dad realized it was not a joke at all, and he said he was very mad during that ride, that car ride and stuff, but when he came back he was more settled. He didn't really talk to me much for like a good week or so, and then he started kind of like slowly bringing stuff up like, oh, what do you, what's your name ideas for the baby and stuff like that. So he did eventually get better with it. He didn't treat my boyfriend any differently, honestly. I, if anything, I feel like he talks to him more now. They want us to finish high school, which is clearly what we're doing. Danny is graduating this um, coming year, which is the time that our class is actually graduating. I'm just graduating early. That's That was my plan from the start, so I wasn't going to stop that. Um, in the fall, we're gonna try to do college online see how that goes and he's gonna try to get a job. My parents didn't want us getting jobs right now to just focus on school and finish school, which I'm really appreciative of. And we're basically living at my parents' house and his mom's house, so we're kind of going back and forth. For now, obviously, because we cannot afford a place on our own at this time in our lives, but of course we want to eventually. Yeah, now, it, in a way, it honestly brought me and my parents closer. Their relationship is better and I have a better relationship with them. We can talk a lot easier now. Everything kind of worked out. I would not do anything else differently because, you know, it kind of worked out so well. Like I said, the only thing is waiting four months was a terrible thing to do and I'm so glad that there was no complications with the baby or myself or anything because I did wait a long time. Don't do that. What I just want to end this video with is to tell anybody that's going through the same situation or a similar situation as me to just get it out. Just get it out to your parents or your guardian, whoever's taking care of you. Let them know you do need to get prenatal care immediately, as fast as you can, as soon as you find out, and you do want to get a doctor's confirmation that you are pregnant. My only confirmation was taking a pregnancy test every now and then. Like, it, it just wasn't good. And if you're feeling any type of pains or throwing up a lot, like overly, tell your doctor, you know, just just get it out because waiting four months was not a good idea. It worked out in my favor, but usually it won't. Once it was brought up, the situation was better than I thought it would be telling them. You know what I mean? It'll probably be better than what you expect. And if it's not, just know that it's in that moment. Eventually, they're gonna get over it. It's real life. You gotta deal with it, whether you have a support system or you don't. I am no way judging anybody on whatever decisions they pick. Um, if you don't feel like you can take care of your baby adoption, I feel like it's always the best option there, because I don't believe in abortion for myself, but I don't judge anybody or anyone's situation because nobody's situation is exactly like mine, so I totally understand anything that people choose and I don't judge. That's my story. Feel free to leave your story down in the comment section down below or just letting me know that, hey, you had a similar situation or this is what your situation was or if you have a video on your situation. I love watching videos like this. That's really what helped me too with bringing it up to my parents, seeing how much support is on YouTube with other young women who are pregnant at a young age, teen moms. It's reality and 
I will happily answer any questions that you have down below too, so feel free to leave them. Don't forget to like this video, comment as I told you, and subscribe because you don't want to miss any other videos that we're putting on this channel. And feel free to hit that bell so that you'll always be notified when we upload a new video on this channel. That's about all I have to say. I'm sorry if this video was long. I kind of knew it would be and so I made it a video on its own instead of adding it into that other video. But if you did not watch that other video, please go check it out. It is my 17 and pregnant finding out that I am pregnant at 17 video story time. So go check that out and I hope you enjoyed the video. And besides that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time.